everybody. Welcome back to Heidi's Humble Home. Uh, if you're new here, thanks for stopping on by. So today I'm going to make a great snack, dessert, whatever you want to call it. You will be the hit of the party. Um, I'm kind of known for these, not to brag, but uh, they are called Scandinavian Almond Bars. They are delicious and very easy to make. Uh, it's freezing here today. Uh, I think tonight it's going to be a Costco cauliflower pizza night and uh, some of these Scandinavian bars, okay? So let's get started. Yes, I have to wear my glasses, okay? So listen, um, some of this I had already kind of mixed ahead of time. I don't know, I feel like maybe some people don't want to watch the whole process or they fast forward. Maybe some people do like it. I find it once in a while to just kind of get everything just about ready so everybody can just kind of, you know, be all set with it. The recipe will be listed in the description down below, okay? So we started with uh, a cup. I have the recipe here. I, you, you know, it's different when you're on YouTube. I've made this so many times, but I don't want to mess anything up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so one and three quarters cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, I whisk that all together. We're going to keep that separate for now. I'm going to move this so you don't have to see my mugshot anymore. And move this in here. I'm going to move you up because I'm not using my tripod today. So let's see how this works. I think this might work out better. All right, now in the bowl, okay, we are going to add some butter. It was a cup of, uh, half a cup of butter, which is obviously a stick. Okay. Got that all melted. I put it in the micro. And then to that, we are going to add a cup of sugar. Okay. It's really pretty easy. A lot of the stuff you might have at home, maybe not the almond extract. I keep it there a lot. Um, and so we'll beat that. You can use a beater. I just use a whisk a lot of times. Let me just make sure you guys can still see it. Yep. All right. I don't know. Sometimes I don't get it out. I just kind of quick like that. All right. We're going to add an egg. Oop. There we go. One egg. Okay. I can't wait to have these tonight. My family loves them. I'm telling you guys, if it's the one recipe you ever make out of everything you watch for me, make this one. It'll be a huge hit. Okay, and then almond extract. We're going to add a half a teaspoon. Let me see. Like I said, it'll be linked below. Half a teaspoon. I kind of think these are different, too. I've never really seen a lot of people make these. I got this recipe from... A co-worker who has since retired, uh, actually a long time ago. Mix that in. Okay, and then we're going to, whether you do it slowly or not, I know I just put the whole thing in, add the flour mixture. Hope you guys are doing well. It's freezing here today. Oh my goodness. I don't like winter. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm just going to incorporate all that flour. Now I think I'm going to get the old wooden spoon out. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to get a cookie sheet. Okay. Now I want, actually, I want you guys to really see how I do this. I got to turn this this way, actually. And I'm going to move you back here. What we're going to do is obviously spray it. Okay. And you're going to divide the dough in fourths. Okay. Yes, my hands were washed. So let me get this off of the spoon. All right, so don't laugh at me. Sometimes I actually get a little butter knife and divide it. <laughs> I know, I tell you. Just make sure it's even. Guys, these are gonna be one of the best things you ever make. I'm not, no, I'm not kidding you. Like people love these when I make them. All right, so now that we got it in fourths with my little butter knife there, you're going to take each, each section and you're just going to kind of make a roll, a long roll. Um, it never really worked to me for me to keep it on the sheet and roll it. It splits and whatever. So I kind of place it like this and I just kind of spread it with my fingers and flatten it a little bit. So I'm going to have four rolls, okay? And you just kind of do the width that you want. I'll show you in a minute when I'm done. These rise really nice. If you don't like almond extracts, eh, you might not like these. I did try it with almond. No, I'm sorry, almond. Vanilla. Ugh. 
not half as good not half as good so the almond really makes a difference all right roll number two okay i'm just going to place it down and i just kind of flatten it out it's like a big long snake or a worm right <laughs> i don't know if that's the greatest comparison but so once these come out of the oven um, you actually cut them when they're warm and put a glaze on them and some sliced almonds sometimes i don't put the almonds sometimes i might not have the almonds so i don't have a choice but my husband likes them and i happen to have them today so all right roll number three well heidi had to test a little bit so this dough is pretty soft easy to work with it spreads out pretty good i <laughs> You know how sometimes you make some things and they don't come out and then the next time they come out great? I have never had ever a bad batch of these. They're very consistent. So by the way, I'm busy talking, but make sure these are all kind of the same thickness. Okay, pretty much the best you can. So it looks a little small. Yeah, I've never had these come out bad, ever. My family would attest to that. Now what you do is add some milk just spread it on top. Nice snack for tonight. If you don't know me that well, I love a little sweet. I gotta have a little something, something. So this would be the perfect snack. All right, let me get rid of this milk. And I think, uh, maybe a couple of these. Just add some sliced almonds. I guess you could do slivered. Doesn't really matter, I don't know. Or like I said, if you don't, can't do nuts, don't do the nuts. All right. All right, so this is what they look like. Okay, they're gonna go in. Um, I guess they take about, let's see, maybe 12 to 14 minutes. I'm actually gonna put them in for like 17 and I'll show you what they kind of should come out looking like. Let's see, 17 minutes. We cooked them on 325. They actually took about 22 minutes, okay? They are gonna be a little bit firm to the touch um when they are warm cut them at an angle if you want them to look a little bit nicer do you know the old secret where you use a plastic knife if you want to are you ever in a rush like you have to go somewhere you want to cut the brownies or say something like this i know it's happened to me with brownies uh and they're still hot use a plastic knife i know who knew so anyway cut them at an angle when they're still warm and then in a separate bowl a cup of powdered sugar a quarter teaspoon of almond extract and about four or five teaspoons of milk to make the icing um, uh, drizzling consistency. Look forward to seeing you guys soon with some other meals, maybe home decor, who knows what's gonna happen here. But give me a follow, um, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Heidi's Humble Home, and I hope to see you soon. See you later guys, have a great day, stay warm and cozy.